Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nate King K, aka Sean, and I'm going to show you how to get your EVGA XR1 set up if you are having trouble with it going directly to black screen after about two seconds of uh, recording. I know this is, this is weird. It took me some time to figure it out. They really don't explain anything. So I'm going to tell you right now that this is how you do it. It's very, very, very easy. So... Once you get it done, it will work 100% no matter what. If you're playing on Xbox, Xbox has an instant on mode, which uh, I don't know why it makes a difference, but you have to turn that off. So let's go and I'm going to show you where to go to do this. Who's watching? Tell me who's... So we're on the Xbox right now. You're going to go to settings, which I already have set up. You are going to go to power mode and startup. And you are literally going to turn it on to energy saving mode from instant on. So take instant on off, put it to power or energy saving mode. And that is it. That is literally it. And the capture card works perfectly well. I'm going to show you right now that I do have the capture card so you don't think I'm bullshitting you. Okay. Cut! So... That's the EVGA, and I'm sorry about the mess. I'm a, I'm a slob. But this is the EVGA, you know, XR1, you know. You can turn it. You could have it go to each side. Or control the volume when you have your headset plugged in right here. And that's the EVGA. So it works. So give it a try. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.